The subject for the video today was the uh, strangest thing or weirdest thing you've ever done. Uh, as soon as I heard this, I immediately started about thinking about strange things that I've done over the years, of which there are quite a few. For example, sliding down a snowy hill in a bathtub, uh, covering a bus stop in uh, paper hearts that me and my friends cut out, uh, or riding up a volcano on horseback. You know, that's an experience. But then I realized that these are all things that I would disclose about myself in order to act cool, in order to impress people, which is a really stupid thing to do, so I decided that that's not really what I wanted to do. So instead I started thinking about strange things I've done that would be strange things for a normal Swede. For example, uh, getting to know a girl during a bus trip by first complimenting her on her odd shoelaces or uh, climbing on statues you find in the city or perhaps, you know, uh, singing along to street musicians, you know, that's always a fun one. But then I noticed that these are all things that isn't necessarily strange to me. These are things that could be strange to an average Swede that would stereotypically want to keep to the norm. And uh, talking to strangers on a bus trip about their shoelaces isn't necessarily the Swedish norm. However, you know, as I said, this isn't strange to me. This is only strange because of the environment I grew up in. So I noticed that I came to the conclusion that in, the end, that in the end, to answer this question by the best of my ability, I had to figure out what does strange mean to us? What does strange mean to me? So in the end, I figured out that what's strange to me isn't necessarily things that I do that no one else does. It isn't necessarily things that if people saw me doing it, walking by, they would think, oh, what a strange guy that is. No, what's strange to me is a thing that I do, still do, that makes me feel like a stranger to myself. Now, the strangest thing I've ever done is that on a regular basis, I just sort of get, get into this mental stage where I realize how strange our existence is. Now, this sounds really... Uh, existential, really stupid, you know. But think about it this way. I'm not even speaking mathematically. I'm speaking about starting to think about every single small thing that happened, not even necessarily to you, but a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, that has shaped the world around you, who has shaped what you are today. And the fact that we, by this point, have grown so accustomed to a, an extremely strange thing that we'd like to call normal everyday human behavior. Which is so strange considering the fact that this is shaped almost completely by your surroundings, you know? Your parents, where you grew up, where you live now. It doesn't have to be the same for everyone, but we just accept our behavior. And it's strange to me in a way that I can't clearly put into words. So, in the end, I guess the words once sung by the great band Neutral Milk Hotel still rings true to this day. Just how strange it is to be anything at all. DFTBA.